so we check the diagnosis on the scanner and it's saying that the left rear sensor is the one that's got a problem with it so i've got the nice handy flip on the back get on there do them up nice and tight okay okay let's have a little look then see if we can figure out what's going on let's just do a, a quick scan on here parking distance lines rear left ultrasonic sensor straight away it's actually telling us which one it is now when I've read this on another one, it didn't give us that until we actually went into the sensors individually. This is coming straight out of it. So what we'll do is pop a new sensor in there. We've got a new second hand one and see if we can't clear that off. Let's just um, try and clear all of these. We can go clear all DTCs. And we've just got to switch the ignition off and then put it back on again. And it's just, just, just go with it straight away for now. Um, here we go, look, so it's still showing us the faulty parking sensor. Let's go and change it and see if we can clear that out. Spray from the wheel can get behind the bumper and sometimes cause a poor connection. It's either that or the sensor itself is duff. Um, let's pop it out and have a quick look. We can have a quick check of it and see uh, if there's anything dead obvious wrong with it. Car's jacked up in the air. And if you come round under here and just look up the back of the bumper, the back there, just behind the exhaust, is the sensor on the sensor you've got a little clip top and bottom and we can just pull the clip down whole sensor just drops out and there it is so you can see the wire there looks it looks good from the outside i managed to get this little fella hopefully it's going to be okay but i'll just poke that back up again and put it through the hole goes that's in right way through right let's head back to the car and try and clear the fault right let's get the door shut we're in you get the gist of it um okay so let's clear all fault codes again and please let's not have that one come back oh oh it looks like it's gone so let's fire up the car Still saying we've got parking sensor fault. So replacing the sensor didn't work, so now we're gonna to have to investigate and see if the wiring's got something hidden that we didn't spot originally. And I did look for corrosion. I couldn't see anything, but there must be something going on. So um, yeah, let's have a little look. Ah, oh, this wire is trapped behind the bumper. So can you see? Oh, it has, I think that's what it is. I think it's been, it's been rubbing on here on the back of the actual bumper because it's behind the beam oh yeah i think it's got trapped let's have a look see it was just trapped behind the beam here and look it's um it's damaged the wiring here we go now i can actually see it better yeah look at that look at this here we go let's unravel it this one quick tidy up and then we need another bit of heat shrink nice repair we'll reconnect that we feed it back over the top of the bumper beam reconnect the sensor to it okay sensors reconnected and then we'll have that back in its hole 